Well, we are back on the third floor today. I don't know if I have much of an update for you guys, but I will put our total earnings from thinning out our third floor hoard up here in the corner. This is all the money we have made selling off the third floor hoard on eBay piece by piece. Um, we've made some pretty good money getting rid of stuff. I'm um, feeling good about it. But today the plan is to clear off the shelves that I have been just loading with stuff. Uh, Casey is coming tomorrow for a pickup and uh, she's going to need boxes of stuff to list. And uh, once we get the shelves cleared off, we'll be going through some more stuff. So that's what we're doing today is making more room, getting more space, getting stuff out of here. And eventually the room will be clean. But yes, Andrew is helping today. See, there's Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Oh, I'm right here. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, well, you guys are going to hang out there in my very comfy chair that I have been trying to free from the hoard for the longest time. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Um, I've already cleared off one box. Andrew has brought it downstairs, and I think he's working downstairs now. Um, but that's enough room to kind of keep working here. I've got the second box sitting here. I just pulled this off the shelf. I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but I thought this was pretty and worth showing. It's this pale pink. It's got nice flowers on it, but it's not marked. So that was worth showing. It is raining out. You might be able to hear the rain. It's just this very, very soothing rain. Kind of a dreary, miserable day. I was actually going to go over to the shop to film today, and I decided I really don't feel like leaving my house. I think I'm going to stay here today. I don't feel much like going anywhere these days, so I'll just be a homebody and stay here. It kind of works out anyway, because we can't really go anywhere. All right, so this box is good. I think, no, I can still fit more stuff. Um, there's a bird outside. It's not one of my birds, thankfully. <laughs> it's a starling. Just caught my attention. Okay, um, let's see. I understand now what all of you meant by left-handed versus right-handed mug, because I never really noticed that before that that is a thing it never really occurred to me until you pointed it out and then i went and looked at my mugs and i'm like wait a second it is a thing it doesn't really matter to me though i don't really whatever okay so let's go through some more stuff i feel like we need to free this bowl down here where did those come from goodness gracious how many of these do we have so we have some more chicken of the sea here. I think this is our third pair that I've uncovered. Casey has already listed two pairs. This is, I think, a third pair, and I'm going to put those in her box. The last pair sold for 20. Um, I have a pair listed right now as I'm filming this video, but the blue one has a little chip out of the nose. These ones appear to be in good condition. Um, but I think they usually sell between $15 and $20. So, that's a $20 bill. Let's go in the box. Um, I've got our fairy furniture here again. I don't know why. A lot of you are like, only touch it once, don't touch it twice. I like that philosophy. I think we're going to go with that. So we've got this here. This is a very unfortunate piece. And this is something that my viewers actually taught me about. And this is something that I really appreciate because not only do you guys tell me all the time, oh, you taught me this, you taught me that. What you, a lot of you probably hopefully realize is that you teach me a lot too. And one thing that you taught me was about stretch glass. I've always been a huge fan of carnival glass and I, I never heard of stretch glass before. And I passed up a piece of stretch glass at the thrift store and my viewers were like, oh no, go back go back, that's stretch glass. And so then I, I went online and I looked up stretch glass and I found out about this new thing. Well, it's not new, it's an old thing. <laughs> but I, I found out about stretch glass. So now I know when I see it, what it is. And I believe this piece is actually a uh, Fenton stretch glass, but it's a blue bowl. And unfortunately for this piece, this is a piece that we would sell in the as is section of our eBay store um, because it does have a chip here on the back, and it does have some, I don't know if you can see those, they've, they've got some, some bad chips, almost like somebody like smashed it. Um, I don't know, 
know, but it's just a beautiful bowl. If you put something in the middle of the bowl as like a display, you can't see the chips. It's not around the outside edge. So it's still worth selling. It's still worth saving if somebody wants it for like a console bowl. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up scraps of paper off of my floor right now. That's how desperate I am because we ran out of newspaper. <laughs> Walter's actually bringing it home from the shop. Um, <laughs> but I'm making do. Okay, so I'm still going to sell that. I'm going to stick. No, you know what? Wait, yes, okay, we're going to have the lid on. We're going to put the lid on. We're going to. So this one is done. It's very heavy. Oh, all right. Box is done. Let's do another one. All right, so we've got two boxes now for Casey. She's coming tomorrow. We're gonna continue putting boxes together. So I've got this box down here on the floor that I feel like we should probably address. Get rid of a box, why not? Um, this was stuff that I actually set aside a while ago to give back to Eric because um, it was stuff that really was just kind of chipped or I don't know. Um, I, didn't, I don't know why, but after seeing how well some of this Cosmos Stemless Daisy sold, even though it was incomplete, um, and it's missing its lid, but I mean, people could use that as a little vase or something. I don't know. I mean, it can be repurposed, and I think rather than send it back to Eric, I think it's worth trying to sell. So another as-is piece. We've got more of it here. You guys believe I was gonna send this back there. <laughs> You're probably like, what were you thinking? Um, I've got this piece right here. It is um, a little shaker, obviously. Missing the lid. That's probably an easy replacement though. That would probably be an easy replacement. So that's worth putting in this box. I'm gonna have to run up some paper. And of course they've got this whole set of cups up here. And these ones are actually nice. I think only one or two of them had some little flea bites on them. So those are definitely gonna go. Let's see here. I think that's it. As far as, shoot the whole box wants to go. Hang on. Ah, I think that's really it as far as the Cosmos Stemless Daisy. I think that's, the, that's all we had. But I've got some more of this Avon Hummingbird. This is actually crystal. It's from their um, their crystal set. I think it's 24% leaded crystal. And these actually sold pretty well considering that they are Avon. I don't know why I decided I didn't want them. I make weird decisions somehow and then I reevaluate my decisions later on and I'm like, you know what? That was a stupid decision. Let's put them in the box for Casey. So we'll put these in the KC box along with this stuff. And I am going to send all of those stemless daisy tumblers. Looking around to see if I have any more of that laying around, but I think that was it. That was actually part of the $1,000 haul. Which we're, we still have laying around, so don't ask me why. I mean, we made so much money back on that that it's all like ridiculous at this point. I have no interest in anything else left in that box. So I'm not even gonna show you. I'm gonna rob you of that. <laughs> we're gonna move this box. And we are going to continue. Let's see what's in this box right here. I don't know if I showed you this the other day. This was actually a gift from a viewer. A very awesome viewer. She gifted this to us and she intended us to resell it, but I've ended up holding on to it thinking, you know what, I can maybe someday use that in my own decor. So I've, I've held on to it. And um, 
we don't really have storage in our house. We really only have one closet and a five bedroom house. Um, so, so this is not only just the room that I use for reselling, this is kind of also our, our storage. Uh, but I'm hoping that someday I can maybe use this. It is kind of fun. It's kind of would look cute in a shabby chic room if I ever decide to go there. Most of my rooms are more of a mid-century type thing. Juliet's room is kind of cutesy, but I don't know. Oh, the hat. Oh my gosh. <sighs> a few of you asked about the hat. I don't, I, I don't even know how to list it. Hmm. Uh, John B. Stetson Company. I keep moving the hat. That's why I finally was like, I can't keep moving the hat around. It says size is 55 over 6, 7 eighths. I don't know what that means. It is a nice hat. I guess, really, all you got to do is take pictures of it, right? I'll just put it in Casey's box. Casey's going to be like, I don't know how to list this. I don't know what I'm doing with this. She's going to have the same reaction I do. I guarantee it. Jocelyn, why did you give this to me? Um, this afghan is going to go in her box as well. I have time to put that like that. It's an easy piece that's out. I like to take pictures of the linens and the afghans out on the lawn. Which a lot of people would probably frown at because it's like on the lawn but I, I really like the natural light I guess the alternative would be hanging it from a clothesline which we don't have so the next best thing is lay it out on the lawn right it's probably not the super most professional thing to do but oh we've got this guy um, some of you suggested that this was a variation of the stemless daisy because it does have stems but it is pretty close in pattern um, to what we have been pulling out and calling stemless daisy slash cosmos so I'm not gonna make Casey list that one I'll do that one myself and then we've got EAPG EAPG was so tough and I always feel bad sticking Casey with the EAPG because there's just so many hundreds of EAPG patterns and it's like, here Casey, here's something that you don't know anything about. Try to figure it out because I feel the same way when I look at a piece of EAPG and I just feel like this, oh God, oh God. How am I ever gonna figure that out? It looks like, I don't even know. Maybe you know, maybe you can help. Maggie Mitchell, this is when we got at Goodwill. That is a good well one. Put that, in there. that one's kind of self-explanatory versus this one that might take a little bit more work. Oh, let's see what else. Is there. It's okay. Put those in this box over here. This is an empty box now. Okay, so we have the box. This up here, we've got a little Toto shaker. Look how close I am to the camera now. I've gotten closer to the camera. I've moved. I'm like, look at this. We've cleared the chair. I think we just accomplished something. Well, kind of. We gotta get the empty box out of here, but we just freed the chair from the corner of the room, basically. Essentially, we've got one more box right here to go through. But um, I've got this little Toto shaker. These worth sticking in here. There we go. Okay. This planter. I'm gonna clean that before I give it to Casey. I give her enough dirty, filthy stuff as it is. I don't wanna give her a dirty, filthy planter. So this, we always thought was interesting. We got this out of the bins the same day as beaded guy that I'm still holding on to. I know I'm still holding on to it. I just have to listen. Just take it around to this. He's going on the shelf. The shelf of eternity that never gets this. Ah, okay. A lot of you suggested that this was Sirocco wood. I think you may be correct in saying that. Um, 
it does kind of have that same consistency. I do believe it is pressed wood. I am going to put this in Casey's box. It's not Casey's box. It's Casey's box. With the sets in it. I want it to get crushed. But I don't kind of this. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that was easy. All right. Well. Might as well keep going, right? Okay. Let's move this over. Oh boy. We've got some cubist. Let's purge it. Let's say goodbye for a little cubist. And this, which I believe is a tablecloth. Oh no, this is not a tablecloth. This is a bedspread. I do remember this. I remember laying this out. It is a bedspread. I'm going to stick that in here. Maybe I'm not. There's no room in this box. We need a new box. New box. This box in the hallway. Time for a new box. Put our red spread in there. It's like a twin size bed spread, but it's got pink on it. I like it. Well, I remember I bought this for Juliet. She never got to wear it. It would fit her now, though. That's really cute. And it would fit her now. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to put that at the top of the stairs so I don't forget it. <laughs> All right. What do we have in here? Oh, it looks like we've got another... Check it out. I've got another Franciscan Desert Rose. Heck yeah. I just sold all of them and now I just found another one. So, fantastic. Um, here we've got a little dish. I was actually checking to see if maybe it said silver on it, but I'm not seeing anywhere where it says silver. It's nice. I like it. As well as this little light. Probably needs to be rewired. I wouldn't suggest plugging that in. You guys know I'm brave, but I'm not that brave, so. <laughs> is the base to a moon stars I don't know if that's the base to a fairy lamp or if that is the base possibly to a compote I can't tell I'm not sure I don't see anything else in this box That's the box of stuff that I'm just storing. I'm not really selling any of that, so. There's stuff that just got stuck on top, so. Oops, I just kicked something. What did I kick? Oh, look. It's an expander. I showed you guys this on the lamp the other day. You screw this in like it is a finial, and then you put the shade over top of it, and then you put the finial on top like so. And it makes makes it sit taller, if that makes sense. I didn't really give you guys a close-up of that because I was so far away at the time. But that's what that is. It's kicking them around on the floor like I don't even care. Alright, let's put this over here. Alright, um <laughs> Oh goodness. I just I feel like I feel like I am making progress. But it doesn't seem like it. Ugh. I feel like I need to get rid of more lamps to really make any progress. But I need to do the lamps over at the shop. And I'm just not feeling a whole trip over to the shop until it's not raining. And today's just been absolutely miserable. 
My next trip to the shop will probably involve lots of lamps and lots of pictures and lots of listing them. Um, but oh, let's list that here. Boom. This guy is still up on the shelf. A lot of you are pointing this out on the windowsill. I don't even know why this is on the windowsill, to be honest. But yeah, why not? We can list it. Now the fox on the other hand, the fox that you were pointing out, that was a gift from Andrew. That's why he's on the windowsill. I'll show you that. This little guy, he was a gift from Andrew. So he's not going anywhere. But yes, the strawberry, we can list that. Let's put that in here. Now I smell something burning from downstairs. So I'm gonna go check that out. And um, I'm going to end the video right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. Okay, there, there was nothing happening. Andrew was just cooking. And it just happened to smell like fire. But anyway, um, I just want to leave you guys hanging. I'll see you tomorrow. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.